like the first question? What? Yeah. 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 Just raise your hand and I'll pick you up. Okay. Okay, I suppose the question we'd be interested in is how do you get any better at the top of the order the way the New Zealand side is bowling now? What changes do you have to make to improve on what you've achieved already? Uh, from a bowling front? Oh, um, look, I think we've um, been fortunate to have the conditions on our side for sure. Um, but the bowling unit itself, um, we've got confidence for sure. And in conditions that support us, we've um, traditionally done really well. So. Uh, it's exciting to have some good starts to this uh, World Cup for sure, but I mean, uh, next oh, tomorrow, sorry, will be a, a new game and a new surface, and we'll have to adjust to that one as well. Um, the mood in um, training seemed very positive. How does that atmosphere like help the performance so far in the tournament? Yeah, I think we talk a lot about our culture with the Black Caps. Um, it's really noticeable when you go away from it and come back to the team. Um, and yeah, you probably saw that training today. It's it's normally very similar to that with all the games we play at warm-ups. And um, we're a good bunch of friends. Um, and that's the honest truth. And we get along really well. And uh, when we train like that and um, push each other, at, both at training, uh, it means that we often can put it out on the park. But um, it's an exciting bunch to be a part of. Look at the back. Might just move that a bit closer. We, the Kiwi pace attacks being talked up as sort of some of the best in the tournament. Just wondering what your thoughts are on that. Uh, yeah, I suppose we've had um, a reasonable start to the comp, but um, as I said, it's it's a game by game thing, particularly in a World Cup where uh, every match is worth two points, and um, we need to front up every game and, and put our best foot forward. Um, tomorrow is going to be a new day. Uh, we haven't played yet here at Manchester, and um, it looks like a good wicket. Um, so. We'll have to start with both scores at zero and, and um, hopefully put a good foot forward. Lockie, plenty of runs here at Old Trafford so far in the tournament. Have you talked about methods to stifle that? I think we've been talking about, well, we, we definitely have been talking about that the whole um, World Cup. There's been talk before the Cup sort of started about big scores. And um, yeah, as I said, every ground's different. So um, we sort of do our scouting for um, the team we're playing. Obviously, West Indies tomorrow. Um, they've got some exciting hitters, um, but of course we've got to scout the ground as well. It's a, it's a big ground and it's it's a good wicket, which often a lot of runs are scored. So, uh, as I said, we'll start from 0-0, zero, zero, but um, the boys are taking a lot of confidence from, you know, um, the areas we've been hitting at the start of this competition, and hopefully we can continue that sort of confidence going forward. Sid? Um, Lucky, uh, what gets you more excited? Is it the reading on the gun, or is it the discomfort the batsman has been facing. Do you like look find yourself looking at the big screen at the readings? Oh, the the speed reading. Yeah. Oh, I actually haven't really noticed it. Does it come up? Does it? Sorry, I haven't really noticed it at the ground. <laughs> um, oh, it's, it's a question I get asked a lot uh, for sure. But I guess it's um, not a traditional big swinger of the ball. Um, so pace is sort of where I generate a bit of hesitation and um, try to put the batters under a bit of pressure. Um, but it's nice in the conditions here in England. It's often quite suited and. Um, I'm sure the wicket tomorrow will hopefully have a bit of pace as well. Um, so it's an exciting place to bowl quick for sure. And I think across the whole World Cup, every team sort of got some impressive fast bowlers. And it's exciting to see fast bowlers doing well in a, in a World Cup too. So um, yeah, I enjoy bowling quick for sure. Yeah, I know you don't bat a lot, but uh, what's the threshold where you know it pace becomes a factor, becomes uncomfortable for the bat? Is it like 140, 145, something? <laughs> It's probably slightly different for me than it would be our top order. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, yeah, I look, probably a better question for our top order. But I think, I think for me, yeah, if, if, if bowlers are bowling over 140, I know the crowd really gets behind it. Um, and it's always nice to watch um, some good pace bowling, some good aggressive pace bowling in a game that's probably now um, pretty good as a batter to play on. We play on great wickets. Um, so it's nice to see some quick bowlers and some aggressive bowling. The West Indies have, have been sort of um, taking that approach throughout the whole World Cup and you know they had a lot of success against Pakistan bowling in that sort of aggressive fashion and so in that way it's exciting um, as a player to watch. Um, but yeah, tomorrow will be a, a new test for sure and um, I'm sure it'll be a great game. Can you sort of roughly tell what pace you set, it, set balls down at? What rough place I do? Yeah. You probably, you probably no, know. I mean, can you tell, I mean this was four, this was really quick. Yeah. Uh, which game? What any, any ball, like uh, you send down a ball and you, can you tell, oh, this must be like 150 or 100? Oh, can I tell? Sorry, when yeah. I bowl it? Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's not not to that point. Um, some days it comes out nice, but yeah, as I said, it's one of those things that 
I guess um, if I see the highlights later that we might see the pace, but at the time, yeah, I must say it's not at the forefront of my mind. <laughs> Lockie, you've got some brief experience here at Old Trafford. How did you find it when you came here in the past with English T Twenty competition? Yeah, yeah, we um, yeah had one game here for sure in T Twenty. It was it was a good wicket. Um, if you bowled good hard areas, then you got you got a bit out of the wicket, um, a bit of pace and carry. But um, if you missed a bit full, a bit short, then it comes on nicely. So it's it's one of those ideals I think for a, a one day track is um, if you bowl good areas, then you, you get some reward. But um, I think the pace and balance is nice, and obviously square boundaries being a, a reasonable size here, it's um, it's helpful for sort of that short pitch bowling as well. Um, but yeah, have to assess the conditions tomorrow morning, oh, tomorrow midday, sorry, um, and then we'll yeah we'll try and make adjustments as we go. Lockie, with Kane Century, Owen Morgan's record-breaking knock, David Warrior yesterday. How good is it for the tournament to see these big players? coming to the boil and how big a challenge is it for you when you face them? Uh, yeah, look, I think it's the World Cup's fantastic for that. I, I mean, uh, the pressure I was feeling from being in the dressing room, um, you know, I'm, Kane handled it so well out in the middle and um, I guess at big tournaments, the, often the big players step up and it's exciting when they do. Um, Kane's knock was exceptional on probably a really tough wicket at Birmingham. Um, and, he, you know, he held his, held his nerve all the way to the end and got us across the line and, um, that's the key, I think, in these in these big World Cups, is that the team that holds the nerve the longest and gets across the line is it's the most important. But it's exciting, I think, uh, from a batting point of view. There's been some big runs scored, some big hundreds, um, but also from a bowling point of view, we've had some fifers. Um, we've had teams rolled out for small totals. So it's been one of those great World Cups where batters and bowlers have been having a really good competition throughout the whole um, comp, and I'm sure we'll continue going through the rest games. How much does what the West Indies batsmen were able to do to the bowlers in the warm-up game play on your preparation for this game? Is it significant? I think it still plays for sure. Um, you know, they batted very well in that warm-up game. Um, Bristol and um, you know put us under a lot of pressure in a warm-up game too. But um, for sure, we'll be taking some of the learnings we took from that game. Um, start again, obviously scores are zero, but. Um, there's no secret that the West Indies have a, a powerful lineup all the way through. Uh, and as a bowling unit, we need to learn to, if they get on a roll, we need to learn to shut down areas and um, build up pressure again and, and hopefully take wickets. But um, yeah, it's no secret in this comp that that West Indies has a, a very powerful lineup. Lockie, I'm just wanting to know um, how the mentality of the team has changed or shifted now that you're widely considered uh, semi finalists. I don't think it's changed at all, if I'm honest. I think uh, we've said from the start of the tournament that we're focused on each game as they come and um, do our scouting on the team and, and also the wicket that we're playing on. Um, turn up and play the game as we always do as the Black Caps and give it our all and, and scrap for um, every run and, and, and for everyone saved on the field. Uh, that's how we play and we're looking forward to tomorrow once again having another um, opportunity, another challenge against a, a big hitting side. And, um, yeah, but obviously boys are taking some confidence from the first few games, but a long way to go. Lucky, how much does it set the tone when you've got someone like Kane Williamson in form? For the team? Oh. Yeah, for the squad. Yeah, look, I think we've, we've got a lot of batters uh, playing well in our team and, and for a long time, but um, it's nice when um, Kane's playing well, Ross is playing well, Guppy, you know, our top order's got some serious experience there, and um, as a bowler, it's, it is nice when they're... Um, spending some time at the crease and particularly um, Kane's knock, I guess, last game of note is getting us across the line in a tough situation um, in a big match. So it's exciting. It's a good team to be a part of. But, um, yeah, it's very pleasing. Augie, uh, unbeaten so far and uh, almost there to the semifinals. This is, I mean... I mean, a bunch of the squ I mean, players from the squad. I mean, a few of the, you have played in the 2015 uh, World Cup as well. So it's been a better start than that. You guys were the final finalists then. Has there been any discussion in the team about how it's been a similar pattern, probably better than that, and how uh, comparis are, are comparisons being drawn between the campaigns of the two World Cups so far? Uh, I mean, obviously, there's some great memories from that World Cup. I was a spectator during it, and, you know, it's... Uh, um, Pretty amazing how it happened in New Zealand and the team played so well but there's not been a huge amount of discussions I guess we're focusing on as I said every game 
um, putting a big onus on focusing on each game, every team, and um, making sure that we do our job and, and do our roles each game and focus on that because every game counts for so much. Um, but it's as I said, it's that sort of culture that's been helping us along the way. And um, yeah, I'm sure going forward we'll be doing the same sort of tactic there. Okay, last one. Um, just during the training session out there, saw um, Ross Taylor um, go off with a sore finger. I'm just wondering if you've got an update on that. Yeah, he's sweet. Yeah, he's, he's all good. Oh yeah, no, Ross goes all good. Yeah. Great, thank you. Thanks very much. Cheers. Cheers, Bob. Cheers, guys.